Guys, let's get some baby drag hype going in my channel today. Guys, we're going to take a look at Go Baby. And that basically is a strategy utilizing a stoned entry with a kill squad and back in baby drags. So let's take a look at this first attack here. And by the way, guys, it's your host, Claire Dragoon. I just wanted to enter or uh, do the intro different today. So right here we got Maxitron of Clash Pub. And guys, uh, Maxitron, there's a couple of guys in Clash Pub that use this attack, and, and I see them do it all the time. And I wanted you guys to take a look at it. Obviously, if you look at this base, Maxitron is going to attack these four air defenses that are in close proximity to each other. That's the type of base, guys. This is the base recognition part of this video that you need to pay attention to. Um, because this is very important to the success of this attack. So right here you see in Maxitron is going right into these air defense. And he's going to try to take down all four of these ADs. Once he does that, he can start baby dragging the back end of the base. Once the CC's dealt with the queen, you know, blah, blah, blah. Get that down. Those are your main objectives, just like with most attacks. And if you're using a stoned entry, guys, you're trying to get a lot of value out of this core punch. So right here, oh, look at there, guys. There went a, a, a Tesla. Troll Tesla right there. He, he put a, he put a, uh, looked like he put an archer out, caught it. There's a baby on it right now. And as you can see, guys, he's at 56%. He's got the last bow and his kill squad. Uh, he still has the queen phase, guys. So as you can see, this base is wrecked right now with this attack. It is completely wrecked. The babies are out cleaning up the trash right now. If he could save that queen's phase up until the wizard tower sections, he's going to be golden. And I think he's... Ah, he went ahead and phased. She was still green, though. I think if I, had, if I were you, Maxitron, I would have saved that phase until those uh, wizard towers. But he's not phased. He's just said, heck with it, goon. I know what I'm doing. And there you go. The proof's in the pudding, Maxitron. Great job. Excellent attack. All right, let's move on to this next attack. And this is in six slitzes. And this one's by 21 Aldi. Nice wizard spread there. Cutting that funnel. And guys, the funnel basics, and I, I'm going to be doing a video on this pretty soon, but I need some uh, several days off to compile a video on this. But I'm going to talk about it. Even though it's about basics, it's going to take a little bit of time to actually do this video. But I want to talk about uh, funnel basics for uh, kill squads with and without bowlers. And also maybe even queen walk, if I can add that in there. That might be its own video. We'll see. As you can see here, the bowlers have shifted uh, and they're going back in. Really nice uh, work here. Funnel work by Aldi. That was a very complex funnel. Uh, but he had enough wizards to get it done. He's taken out the core. And this base, guys, all the AD weren't nearly as close together. And this last AD, um, it, it's kind of risky. Th this particular uh, attack here, he, he kind of threw it out there. Aldi... Uh, Audi had some faith in his kill squad, and he was rewarded. Look at it, 64% guys, before he even starts dropping baby drags. It looks like he's holding his baby drags for some reason. Audi, go ahead and let him go, man. Don't swag on him, just let him go. He's still holding them. I believe that Audi is trying to take this base and, and swag. Nope, he's not going to swag him. He's like, nah, I'm going to go ahead, Dragoon. He still has the queen's phase, but it's a wrap. He didn't even need it. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's move on. Here's another one from the Puppers, and this is Leroy Jenkins. And he's coming in with a stone baby right here. And guys, now I'm going to tell you, with this particular attack, um, you're going to have to have CC bowlers. Um, I know that I made some videos without attacks without CC bowlers, um, but your clan definitely, if your clan doesn't have bowlers, don't try this attack. You know, if your clan is is a lower level clan, this is not the attack for you. You're gonna need some max bowlers uh, for sure for this attack. The bowlers are gonna get you that value and take down those ads. 
Now watch this. Now you see how Leroy's let that golem tank outside the base purposely to take down that last AD. That was a beautiful plan, by the way, Leroy. Very, very impressed there. You got down all four AD, and that is part of the plan here on this attack. Great core punch here. Bowlers are still going. And this is beautiful here, guys. 64%. Once again, here comes the babies. Back end. But now that Tesla farm is pretty uh, uh, scary. I got to say, uh, Leroy is going to have to phase here. He is. He, not less those, those golems tank or golemites. He's going to have to phase here soon. He's still being protected right now. Oh, the bow's down. Okay, so that was the main. Maybe he, maybe he can swag this phase. Look at this, guys. It wasn't scary. Look at there, goon. You got all scared, and Leroy's like, "What is he scared about?" Great job, Leroy. All right, and this is Koyori from Clash Pub, and this is the uh, the guy to me that that actually my first few videos I've made on his attacks alone. Koyori loves this attack. So when you see an attacker like Kayori uh, use this attack, he knows exactly what type of base accepts it. He knows exactly how to use it, and it's a pleasure to watch his attacks. Believe me, he, 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 he actually is a beast at this attack. And this attack on the skill set wise, you know, it's a, it's a, you gotta know what you're doing with this attack. This ain't for everybody. This one, this one is tricky. I actually tried this attack um, a few wars ago and failed. And I was very sad. Dragoon was sad. So, yeah. I thought I had all the criteria met. I was wrong. And ripped the dream. But, Kayori makes it look easy. But guys, that's because he is highly skilled at it. But now look. Take, pay attention to where the ADs are. Guys, Kayori not only attacked a base where the ADs weren't even close together and centralized. Uh, they were all the way across the base. Kiori, he, he uh, done a risk it for the biscuit, uh, is what I say about that, and that's uh, that's pretty impressive. And look, he phases, gets the last one. Now there's a lot of base left here, guys. These baby drags are going to have to pretty much ride the storm out here on this base because the queen and the golem are under heavy fire, and I don't know that the queen is going to make it. She is just too... Uh, uh, in front of the golem, she's she's gonna get targeted here in a minute. Oh, there you go, there you go. Nope. Watch her. Now she's shooting a wall from there. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, if the golem doesn't redirect here, oh, okay, that was good. That Tesla, because that Tesla, it looked like maybe two zaps, the queen would have been dead from that Tesla. But look, the, the golems have miraculously <clears throat> stepped in front of the queen, so that's gonna save the queen. Even though um, the baby drags are putting in some great work, he still has two babies in the bag right now. And look how patient he is with these deploy with the deployment of these baby drags. And he's trying to space them. I think that's really important, the spacing. But Kayori, excellent job. And guys, I hope you enjoyed watching these baby drag attacks being performed by some true professionals in this game when it comes to baby drags. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe. And I'll be so thankful, guys. And thank you so much for all you do and all your support, guys. And with that being said, guys, I am out of here.